Three, two. You got the giggles because it's us. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> Okay, so don't don't try to throw me off. I'm not. You want to you want to set us off? Yes. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 103. Sarah is sick, and uh, we're lucky enough to have. Are we talking about we're lucky guy. enough? <laughs> what? Well, thank you. You're a celebrity in this house. No. Yeah. No, I'm not not a celebrity. Okay, well, we have this very juvenile podcaster here with us today. Yeah, yeah, that is um, true. That is true. Doesn't really even know how to use a mic. Yeah, sometimes Clearly. I can be very uh, juvenile as a podcaster. Yeah, you know when you're most juvenile. When's that? When, when you I'm, fart. Yeah, when I'm ripping ass on you. Yeah. Yep. Well, you do a little burping in this house, so I do. Let's not get too fresh. I do. You know what? I need the headphones. I cannot do this. <laughs> without it I, why i don't know it's just it's like it's quiet yeah i'm alone with my thoughts isn't it the other way you're alone with your thoughts with the Mm-mm. headphones Mm-mm. I, okay I, I i was gonna say go raw but then then i'm gonna be vulnerable the whole episode all right and go then ahead. everyone's gonna know that i'm vulnerable yeah well i see your butthole every morning so it's pretty vulnerable I, uh, I don't know why I made it about that. I'm, that was kind of weird. Yeah, we still know. We still know someone hasn't seen yours. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Are these even mine? Does it matter? I thought, no. doesn't matter. We don't have them like separately labeled for you and Sarah. Me and Sarah are always like making sure we have the right headphones, so we didn't know. Just They're on the spectrum. <laughs> I feel so much better. Do you? Yeah, I think you would too. Do you? You know what? I feel better because of you. Um, let me tell you the sign of a good partner. Some fresh coffee. Yes. Yeah. Got me regulated. Yes. Cleaned out before we got going here. Yeah. And I don't mean to make it about poop, but I feel like it's relevant. What is relevant is I think there should be a rule that only certain farts are allowed in a relationship and the ones that are jailable should never come out of your butthole. (laughs) Like there's a limit. Can you give me give me an example of a an acceptable fart, like on decibel? Like, okay, Go ahead. it's, it's either got to be like, like okay, that's cute, you know, or like, okay, it just slipped right out. But slipped right out. Yeah, that last one sounded like I don't know. No, that was just a slip out. Yeah. Okay, but if it's any of the ones that you rip. They are not allowed. Like, what, can you give an example of the ones I rip? Like, like Alex, do like the worst fart sound you've no, ever heard. No, no, no. I no want like you to do he it. he'll know. He'll know because he's a dude. You know. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. My ass is not that loose. It, yes, it is sometimes. <laughs> no, that's like a Donald Duck. Like, I can hear the air coming out. You know, like yeah. Well, that's because I'm trying to hold it around you. It doesn't seem like We're on like this it. whole it fitness like thing. We're on this whole fitness thing. We're eating all this protein. I'm going to bust some ass. I know, but it seems like it's always in my presence. Like, Well, yeah, we live together. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never far away. Yeah, what do you want me to do? We, we Not. Can, I, could, I could try to get us a place four times as big, and that way I could run to the other side of it and fart. You wouldn't do that, though. You're right. I'd run right up to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think I don't get this whole thing. What, where, what do I say when you do one that's really bad? Um, that you're gonna leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I go. That is not acceptable. <laughs> you expect me to love you? Yeah. After that? Yeah. That's called transparency. I mean, I love transparency, but you know, you said something funny the other day. What about busting ass? It made me crack up so hard. We were watching Dune Part One. Yeah. And the worm came up. <laughs> That's my butthole. <laughs> and I laughed for like five minutes. Wait, what? I don't remember this. Yeah. When the, when the, the, worm, the worm came out of the sand and you're like, That's my butthole. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a different worm. Yeah, the sandworm. What's uh what's the sandworm's name? Shai Hulud. Yeah. 
Who knows that? That's crazy. Me, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how Dune turned all the white boys uh, uh, Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. You fasting too? I am. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. saw some dude's tweet. It was like, my name's Tamar Hussein. Hussein. And he's like, yeah. my entire life, nobody wants to pronounce my name. Now all the white boys are walking around going, this so good. Yeah. This so good. Yeah. 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 All, the oh, white, all, all my white boys Muslim. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and I think people are going to go crazy. Like this movie's propaganda is trying to turn white people Muslim, all kinds of stuff. I mean, the planet is Iraq. Yeah. Is. Iraq is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like kind of similar. In in the book, they call the holy war a jihad. Oh yeah. Hmm. Seems like they were. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. The um. Uh. The sandworm. What's his name again? Shai Hulud. <laughs> I just like knowing that I can come. I can call down on Alex. Yeah. This is weird. He like is practicing Arabic. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've never heard you once like mention anything in 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 Muslim I've heard him culture. Speak, yeah, I've heard him speak Ukrainian. It's not that weird, but now he's like fully yeah. fiction Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your Dune name? Hmm. Let me get back to you on that. Yeah. Mm. I'm shocked you haven't taken like a Paul BuzzFeed Atreides. quiz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is your... Next thing we know, Alex is on... Um, uh, oh, what's that app? Alex is just wearing a burqa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, we saw Dune 2. We did see Dune 2. And um, it was very good think it was better than the first one because honestly shocking that they got so many people to go watch dune 2 based off the first one <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good roast i like that thanks yeah my issue with the first one so much hallucinations yeah not enough action <laughs> yeah yeah well, <laughs> what they- actually happened what didn't happen yeah by the time at the end where we get to the part where we could maybe see some of his visions, mm-hmm. they're walking in the caves yeah. and it's over. Yeah. And there's nothing else. Well, it's like six books and they're trying to condense it down. Isn't is this isn't it just one book this that this movie covers? The first two movies are w- the one book. Yeah. Or it's just the first Dune book. Yeah. <sighs> so. I'm surprised there was no Dune buggies in the movie. <laughs> I mean, that would be Mad Max. Yeah, yeah but it's called Dune. Yeah, and <laughs> sand. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take place in America though. But yeah, I mean, with with such close American references, you would think there would be. You a would dune think, buggy. Yeah. yeah. But the Dune buggies would clearly call the sandworms with a freaking rhythmic sound. See, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's why they got a sand walk so yeah. the worms don't come and get them. What bothers me about that rhythmic walk, though, it's the same steps. So isn't that a pattern? No, because it's supposed to mimic the sound of the. The natural sand blowing in the wind. Yeah, but it's repetitive. It's the same. I, I watched their little sand feet. They were doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is one of those where, see, you're you're treating this like how you treat everything else. Nipple itchy. Yeah, I got itchy nipple. Um, you can't question it that hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair. But um, all I kept thinking about in the first one and the second one was. Sam texted me on the plane when she was watching the movie. Yeah. And she said, all this for some spice. <laughs> yeah. For some spice. <laughs> if we just replace spice with oil. Yeah. And then we replace, you know, uh, Harkonnen with, I don't know, America. Yeah. All this for some oil. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. All that. For some oil. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Imagine if paprika was that powerful in 2024 i wasn't saffron like didn't monks use saffron to get hard or whatever i just i know that there was like a whole spice expedition you know there was a spice era yeah that 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 was the that was the yeah heavily traded sporty nice nice uh, suspension of disbelief. The reader's willingness to spend out and believe the unbelievable for the sake of enjoyment. Yeah. I feel or like no. this is like some secret message. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is from GoTeenWriters.com. This, this is Alex whenever he watches any movie. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do when you watch a movie. You're not supposed to be like, oh, how's the wind movie? This, this is Alex when he buys... <laughs> This is Alex when he buys strangers cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to hurt me. Yeah. 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 Um, no, hold up. Can you look up Saffron or Saffron as a, it didn't make him horny, but I think they used to get like high. Priest used to do something with Saffron. I, what about paprika? I mean, you're just completely glossing that over. I think paprika is just flavor. I don't think it has any properties that can get you hype but i get what you're saying saffron is also flavor yeah saffron robes are traditionally worn by hindu monks aesthetics and priests who have taken vows of renunciation and dedicated their lives no. to spiritual pursuits like the actual like them yeah. consuming it yes. saffron for drugs yeah type saffron for drugs um maybe it's not saffron i don't know someone's smarter and Maybe it's spice. Yeah, maybe it's spice. Maybe it's spice. Maybe it is spice. It is. So yeah, that 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 was my that was my thought. Your single thought. So mm -hmm. did you, you did you like Dune two? I did. Dune two was way better. Yeah. More things happened. More people died. There were so many. Here here's my uh, here's what I think Timothy Chalamet's uh, audition tape looked like. Yeah. That's all he was doing in the film. Oh, he's giving Kristen Stewart vibes in Twilight? Slightly, yeah. Hmm. Like his mom, I forgot what... She did something crazy in this second one. Yeah. And his reaction was... She's like, you will be the next one. He, <laughs> he did do that. Yeah. He did. He was just kind of like... Yeah. You're weird, mom. Permanent cool guy. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> His speaking voice is really funny to me too, as Paul Atreides. Every everything was just like. So you're saying the locals think I'm the Messiah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone else around him really dramatic, and he's yeah. like, "I'm not a Messiah." He's he's always borderline like, I don't know, cool redditor. Mm. I feel like they keep writing these characters like cool redditors. Yeah. You change you change his speaking tone to something else. I cannot go south. They think I am the Messiah. It's going to trigger <laughs> a holy war. I don't know. I guess you could do that with anything. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he was he was too cool All for who he was. Oh, oh, skip ahead of and if you don't want to hear this but spoiler he dies. No, he doesn't die. Can you guys tell we are in an ad break? Are the glasses our tell? Don't we look really cool? Yes, I am Sarah, and we are pausing this episode to tell you about our sponsor, Gooder. We have a long-standing history with glasses on this podcast. We strongly believe that people should wear sunglasses that make you look hotter, and Gooder does just that and more. You know why? Because they are 100% polarized and only $25. And at this price point, we always buy at least three pairs. Forgot the hands. We have so many colors and styles that go well with every kind of outfit. I find them super easy to work out in. Pre-mom life, when I had all the time in the world, I would golf. And I used to see so many golfers wearing gooder. They are 100% polarized, so it's perfect when you're golfing or spending time outdoors. Speaking of that, Alina, are these sunglasses ones that you can actually drive in? Yes, you guys, I can finally see while I'm driving. Wow, speaking for the public, thank God. I'm also highly entertained by the website. They have tons of collabs and each shade has a unique name. For example, a ginger soul, $9 pour over, and donkey goggles. You will have a hard time not going through the site just to see what every pair is called. Apparently there's been some laughter because I said donkey and it is a donkey. But honestly, same thing. If you want to support the show and pick up a pair, Gooder is giving Are We Still Friends listeners free shipping on your first order. You can go to gooder.com slash stillfriends and use code stillfriends to get free shipping. That's right. Gooder offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and 100% satisfaction. Find your pair at gooder.com slash stillfriends and once again, use code stillfriends to get free shipping. At the end, he he's you know 
very commanding. Yeah. So imagine if he had that voice the whole time. It'd yeah. Be very off putting. Yeah. Um Kate, cover your ears. <laughs> but what, what kind of heartbreak is that? Oh, at the end? Oh, I, was, I left the theater crying. You were crying over that? Really? She was. She's exaggerating. Her eyes no. were welled up. I made sure a tear didn't drop because you would have made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> there were tears yeah. on the verge. Give a girl a heads up. He did. He did. That was not a heads up. That was a heads up. That was not a heads up. Bro, stop it. Like to me, that's like, oh, no. you're committing ever everlasting love to me. No. Not you're betraying me. Bro, if, okay. Like to me, that was a misdirect. Let's just go to like a more basic level. If as a dude, you know you did something to annoy your girlfriend you're not telling her in advance. Yes, you're going to you tell know. her at like the least pot. You're like, all right, now I have to tell her, you know? Let's just say I clogged the toilet. If I could let that go for an hour, I would. If you came up her. to me and you said, as long as I'm breathing, I will love you. And then I find out the toilet's clogged. That's, that's a Mr. X. I know. I know. No. Like that, it's, he, he had said that to her earlier in the movie also. This is obviously like him like being like, Ugh. I'm gonna love you, but like this is gonna suck right just, now. Just tell just tell your your life partner, the person that you are doing everything, just tell them what you got but up if your they, sleeve. If they did that, then you would not be mad right now talking about the movie on your show. Yeah, I'd be talking <laughs> about like true love. Also, did you want him to turn to her and be like, hey, by the way, I'm gonna yes. ask for her hand in marriage <laughs> yes. right now? Like, yes. what, what world, yes. is, she, what world yes. is anybody gonna do that? In Dune. No. <laughs> in Arrakis. No. That's the world. Okay. They got white boys going Muslim in Dune. You can't have like realistic expectations <laughs> about love and other things, dude. I expected more from him. Yeah, I know you did. You know what I. I would have walked away too. I would have rolled that worm out of there. <laughs> yeah, you would have been riding some worm. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, that's what I would have been saying as Paul Atreides in the tent with Zendaya. Yeah, you want to ride some? You want to ride some worm? And now his worm butthole? No, <laughs> it's it's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite word, <laughs> cock. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I can't take it. I can't I can't go on anymore. Yeah, I can't take it as a nice phrase. <laughs> yeah. I meant it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, relax. Um there are people watching. What does that mean? I said cock, you said I can't take it. <laughs> Come on, man. And I said, All right, people are watching. <laughs> as in like Okay, how do we segue out of this? What the what the hell is going on with the yeah, British? This is a good way to segue, <laughs> yeah. 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 What the heck is going on with Kate Middleton being dead? Yeah. Okay. It is it is big so hype. Just to just to catch everyone up to speed, okay? She has not been seen out and about since Christmas of 2023, which is kind of a kind of a long time for But if you hold on, let's let's just for a minute there. If you have all the power in the land, is that crazy? Like you're not going to Sainsbury? You're not doing normal things. That's fine. That's fine. It's more that we can't get a glimpse of her. You know, like we wouldn't. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be alarming had we just gotten a single photo of her. Yeah. Proof of life. Proof of life. Okay. So she went missing. Spanish tabloids were like, she is having abdominal surgery. That's what's going on. She's in hospital. She's away. Well, it's kind of like. What kind of abdominal surgery? Then sparked Kate's having a BBL. In no world is Kate Middleton going in for a BBL. It's just it's not happening. Yeah, it's okay? not the it's not it's not the royal way. Yeah, they they don't they don't. That's F why they got that. that's why they got Megan out of there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, curves. All that ass. Anyway, so did people genuinely believe she had a BBL? People. Yes. No, they didn't. That's uh, a I've joke been following theory. this Listen, for weeks. That's and a at joke the theory. No, at the beginning, <laughs> some people were certain. And then I think this that, that these group of people are a joke, but a lot of people are saying that she must be on The Masked Singer, 
which I think has to be a joke. <laughs> okay. Hilarious. And so that was kind of all swirling around and it was like, give us something. What's happening with Kate? Where is she? And so then they're like, the British, you know, the monarchs are like, F, we got to give them something. So they give us these series of fake images, okay? One a Mother's Day photo where, honestly, I would never have been able to tell that it was photoshopped. Describe the photo. The photo is her sitting down and all her kids are kind of like wrapped around her. And I guess people have now superimposed her Vogue cover over the photo of her and it's basically like a one-to-one it is that photo that they put on her. All the kids' hands are mangled and the fabric's all messed up. I don't spot this stuff. <laughs> I thought it was a real photo. Anyways. Just just tagging on to that. I'm, I'm, th- I'm there with you. You would never have known. I would never care enough to look. I would just see a, f- um, like a, I'd see the word Kate Middleton. Yeah. And then this and I go, cool. It doesn't look abnormal to me. <laughs> it just looks like... The fingers is what everyone kept calling Yeah, the, the hands fingers. were weird. And I didn't think anything of it, but obviously it, it then got taken down because the... What what was it the... The British press apparently... Or the British press. They yeah, said, yeah. this is too fake to be around. <laughs> they didn't say it's too fake to be That's around. That's basically what they said. All right, yeah, let's start a rumor. What is that? It's too fake to be around. They're making fun of the, they're not making fun, but they were pointing out like one of the kids did a crossed fingered motion. Mm, yeah. And one of the sleeves looked like just kind of like see through ish kind of. Yeah. yeah. Did, yeah. did you see her, her tweet about it also? Well, yes. Yeah, so, so then, so then that came out and then it was like every, and then when the British press said, this is fake, it was kind of like, oh, you guys have been caught. No one's playing into this. So there are at least a few more photos of her, the brick one in the car, clearly not the same brick. They won't give us a singular image. And then she came out and was like, oh, I'm just like not the best with Photoshop. I just like wanted to put a little spice on the photo and I'm not the best. In what world? Is she Photoshop? Oh no, she's a designer. Her own. She's a designer. Photos. She's a designer. Yeah. I saw this tweet that was like, "Can you imagine Kate logging into her yeah, creative, creative cloud?" cloud. Yeah. <laughs> watching a, watching a tutorial by some Indian guy on how to do uh, like pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Layers. If and stuff. I were Kate, one, I don't believe that she tweeted that. Well, yeah. And I don't believe that she photoshopped it to of begin course. with. Yeah. But if if we suspend reality for a second, can you imagine being Kate Middleton and being like, I'm going to take this photo on Mother's Day and I'm going to Photoshop it to spruce it up. What is she, an influencer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone should surely you, be Photoshopping you know, for her. You know Kardashians have better Photoshoppers than she does. Photoshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the official job title, yeah. Photoshoppers. Yeah. Yeah, I think, of course, Kate Middleton's not doing it, but you know how sometimes... People get rich and they get bored and they want to pick up hobbies and they want to try she, to do she's things. Got to practice a little didn't, bit more. Didn't Kim Kardashian take the bar? Yeah. Did she pretend to take the bar? Yeah, she did. <laughs> but she failed it many times, but eventually she she passed actually passed it. it. Yeah. So she can practice law. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Kate's gonna be a designer or something. It'd be really funny if um, this whole thing was like some curb your enthusiasm thing, and she's just back there, and it's like some really genuine it's thing where one- she's like. <laughs> No, I really want to do this. Like, let me use Photoshop. And it's just like, a huge campaign with Adobe. Yeah. <laughs> Kate effed up. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put her through this tutorial, which you can also access on Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm just picturing her. She's like, let For me try four again. Week free trial. Yeah, yeah. Let me try another photo. So yeah, then they had the second photo, right, of her in the limo. Yeah. And people debunked that. People debunked that. So basically, we just we have here a series of no communication with her. Every photo is... I like is, how you say we. Like we. We are entitled we to are, this we communication. Are. We have no communication with her. Every photo that is out there is completely sus. Yeah. And it's just baffling to me because it's just like, surely something's up. If we can't see a single photo, I mean, just take a, you're going to Photoshop, 
but you could just take a selfie and debunk this. She could go on a Zoom appearance, debunk this. Yeah. She, she gave birth and was walking out in heels three hours later. Maybe that baby was never real. Maybe. <laughs> so there's a theory going around, okay, that there's a couple things. And honestly, any minute now, the BBC is going to announce That's, that we should... some big announcement that the Buckingham Palace is ready. <laughs> And I've been refreshing my phone every hour to make sure that I'm not spewing any nonsense here. We're going to get something. Okay. And what we're going to get, okay, we're going to get King Charles abdication. His cancer has progressed. He's stepping down. William is taking the throne. The issue here lies that when William comes in to take the throne, okay, Kate has found out that he has been having a little affair. Yeah. With old gal Hanbury. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they have a baby on the way, but they've definitely been messing around. And she has either said, I'm dooning away on that worm <laughs> and I'm never seeing you again. I'm not making any appearances. If you want me out in the public, you got to Photoshop it. Right. Because I'm so mad that you betrayed me like that. Yeah. Or, unfortunately, and this part is not funny, she has inflicted some sort of self-harm. Yeah. Because that could be, that is honestly the only real possibility here. Yeah. For us to not see or hear from her. Because yeah. the monarchy is never going to come out and say, yeah, she had a mental breakdown yeah. and has has harmed herself. Yeah, they just put her in a limousine and cut the brakes. Or William could have hit her also. He's entitled Prince Royal. Yeah. Aren't there, isn't there like a theory that like her Hanbur Hanbury sons are also Williams or is that not? Yes. I, I don't believe that one though. I think that's a bit far fetched. Kate would not be putting up with that for this long. Uh, let's be real. I'm just chuckling because this has really taken over your feed and your life. Like if I walk out of the room and I walk back in, I hear Kate Middleton da -da -da -da, and you're on your phone. You're like, yes, yes. You and I'm sifting through the what's real and what's not. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm not BBLing over here. Yeah. You and you and the collective, um, I don't know, 50,000 people on the investigative team for yes. this over here in America. Also, if you've been seeing that the flag is half masked, that is false. Oh, that is old footage circulating from it, years ago it is not accurate to what's happening. You now. know, what's really crazy though that I'll say is, as you've been talking to me about this and I'm able to recognize certain things you're talking about, I am really kind of take like my mind is kind of blown by the amount of people trying to make disinformation about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like the flag half met. I didn't, I guess I don't know why anyone gives a shit about them now because they don't have any power. They're just it's rich. Just, it's drama. Yeah. It's like a real life. It's um, drama. Yeah. It's real life reality. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, real life reality. I think the only re reasonable explanation for us to not have seen or heard from her is there's a might just be my eardrum. Does it sound okay? Yeah, it's just your eardrum. Yeah, okay. You might you have tinnitus. Mm. That's what elephants have. <laughs> so you talking about elephantitis? Yeah. I thought elephantitis is when you have a huge set of balls. It is. Yeah. So the only reason that we wouldn't see or hear from her is because there's something so horrible that the the monarchs can't come out and say what it is. Mm -hmm. So they're hiding it from us. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? What? The staff and her parents haven't seen her. Yeah. So we could be witnessing diana part two yeah in the making and you know what's even scarier mm. we will actually never know the truth yeah. they will never yeah. tell us apparently harry wrote this in his book about just like how the family works mm. we'll never know the actual truth of what's going on mm. and all this confusion and haze for the last few months it's just going to be that we're never going to know yeah they're going to drop some big bomb on us about how Charles is stepping down, but they're they're not even going to address yeah. her. So if she's okay, who knows? That's what's actually kind of alarming is that she thought she was just signing up for this beautiful, jolly, tea-drinking 
family. <laughs> then she got disappeared. And she's actually kind of like in with the mob. Yes. Yes. What? Who? You know? She's calling the royal family the mob. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I was like, what the hell? You know? She she is with the mob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's so, there's some very pro Brits, right? Or um, pro monarchy people listening to this right there's now. There's definitely not. I don't think there's pro, no pro monarchs listening. No. Yeah, don't let your cousins find out about find out about you. Talking, I know. Talking but ill. As soon as I was getting information, I messaged my cousins to yeah. find out what was going on. And word, word for word, word at the gates is <laughs> he's been sleeping with Hanbury. I can't believe your cousin said that. Word at the gates. That's such a hilarious. I know, to but me. like, can word you imagine the going to the gates, being like, yeah. You know, yeah. As if they will talk. Yeah. As Those if guys they'll don't tell speak. You. I know. Exactly. Yeah. The, um, Kate, what? Did you see that she was reportedly spotted at a yes, farm store? But, but no. there's no photo. Yeah. You can't just say someone was spotted and no photo. Get a better Photoshop team. Photoshop an image that's believable. Don't worry. Kate will be on it. She'll Photoshop <laughs> it. As soon as the deal locked yeah, in yeah. her agreement is yeah. set. Yeah. But, Till then. I'm going to tweet right now. Kate Middleton spotted at Sainsbury on, on this, on just like a random street. Yeah. See if that doesn't I bet get you people. Preetha could do a better Photoshop job well, yeah. than anyone on her team. And it could be like, a to- but then we would be aiding in the cover up of her disappearance. And honestly, we can't, we can't be a part of that. Yeah. You don't want to be on the list for MI6. That'd be bad. Then James Bond will come kill you in your sleep. It, yeah. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> to get murked by James Bond? Yeah. Yeah, because he always has sex with you before he kills you, right? Doesn't, isn't, that, isn't that his thing? I don't know. Like he shows up and he's shirtless and he's like, when we meet again. Then he makes a pistol out of like lipstick and <laughs> and like a gin shaker. And he just bang, right? Mm. Isn't that how James Bond does it? I don't know. I don't I don't remember. Either. Yeah, yeah. No, I, like I think... like a fantasy uh, or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Yeah, it's um I think we should just bomb their whole house. Well, there's so many houses. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. You'll never know. That's why the Baron got it done the way he did, or the Emperor got it done the way he did. Everything comes back to Dune, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. How would you yeah, how would you eliminate house um what is their last name? <laughs> What's the good monarch's question. last name? What is the monarch's last name? King. <laughs> Williams? No. Shatner? <laughs> Princess Diana. Well, we really only go on a first name basis here. What yeah. is their last name? Um, <laughs> Windsor. Windsor? House Windsor. Oh, man, what a good clothing store for us teen girls. Yeah, yeah. Windsor. How, That's how where we get... bought all our all our homecoming dresses. I wouldn't know. I wasn't going, yeah. but that's where you went. How would you eliminate House Windsor? <laughs> what would you do to trap them all in one place? Oh, just... A ton of UV lights. <laughs> That's how you would kill them. Yeah, they'd burn. They can't. <laughs> they can't take the sun there. <laughs> Swap out all their light bulbs. <laughs> ah, the tan. It's too much. <laughs> I can hear some white British dudes going. Yeah, to be fair, that's that's right. Now, how would you eliminate them? Um. This is, this is a great clip. Yeah. How would you eliminate House Windsor? Yeah. Hmm. I would task them all with getting rid of another person's wife. I would say we need to have a meeting with all of House Windsor to eliminate another person's wife. And, and then they'd join right away. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> we there. love this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they'd be there right at 9 a.m. So, but how would you eliminate them after that? Um, I would, I would make the meeting place just a giant trap door. I think they'd be smart enough. It's like an escape room. You'd give them an escape room. No, no. It's like a beautifully furnished room. And then the fucking middle just separates and it drops and it's a 40 foot drop. Okay. Well, another way is you give them an escape room, but the only way they can get out of the escape room is if they're nice to each other and they compliment each other. That's too easy. They wouldn't do that. They would do that. They the, wouldn't the do The British that. are trained to like British royalty. They're, they're trained to no, look but you in have, the eyes and lie. It has to be genuine. Who's going to rate that? Heart r- monitors. <laughs> Heart monitors. Okay, bro. Okay. Other, another option is just 
add a bit more paprika in their food that night. <laughs> I think comes back to spice. I think they're the originators of taking spice. I think they can handle it. Did you know um people claim that um what is it? Chicken tikka masala is a British invention. Some people believe that. I think I or think it is. So. I think it's like w- westernized to some degree, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Someone who's an expert on um, culture and anthropology comment on that. Yeah. But for now, that's just a fact on this podcast. <laughs> Speaking of Indians. Yeah. I had fun trying to get you to watch a, a part of my childhood. Yeah. I was enjoying it. I was just tired. Yeah. And, and honestly, movie. all Bollywood movies, to four hours. Yeah. They're four hours. It's a commitment. But I would say there's some, there's some big staples. Yeah. In you know, in a brown head? a brown person's upbringing, and I'm I'm very determined to make you watch them. Yeah. Um. You know what? You know why I got tired? Cause um, it's like three hours of pure subtitles. Yeah, it is a lot. And for and, those and, of and you I'm don't consistent know. because I you know we were watching Attack on Titan. And I tapped out on subtitles. Yeah. After three episodes, I said, yeah. nope. We were watching DDLJ is what, is what it's called. Yeah. Because no one says the full thing anymore, I guess. It's, um, it's not cool. It's not cool. And there's a couple other ones that I want, I want you to watch. Do you and want to explain the premise of DDLJ? The premise of DDLJ is basically how most people grow up. Who's most people? Uh, most Daisy people. Okay. You know, maybe not today, but okay. in that time period. Girl, she's in England. She is going to get sent back to marry someone in India. It's arranged. It's set in stone. Dad's super happy, proud of her. She wants to go to Europe, explore. She goes to Europe. Uh, by the way, yeah, yeah, continue, continue, sorry. She meets a boy, annoys the shit out of her. They fall in love. She gets sent back to go marry in India. He chases her, tries to win over the family, wins him over in the end. They live happily ever after. But it honestly, it's like, oh yeah, those are the movies I was watching. Of course I like romance movies now today. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it it explains so much about yeah, you're my childhood. Also, like I don't really like musicals. I think it's because they burn me out. It's like they'd break they'd break into a song and dance every few minutes. It, it's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, Bollywood film. It's a lot of music videos going on in there. And also, if you're a li- very literate person, it's like kind of hard to be like, how is everyone just singing with them in the scene? <laughs> like I, I was really like invested in the storyline, and all of a sudden, like. It's just it just throws me off, yeah. you know. Like, what's going on? Yeah, is this fit the storyline? Yeah, they were just mad at each other. Now they're singing. Alex is again pointing to suspension yeah. of disbelief. Yeah, I can't I can't do it, you know. So it would ruin it for me. You know, I feel like yeah, it's really it's. <laughs> yeah. I feel like all, you'll get to know a lot about me. You do by watching them. Well, it also makes sense. Okay, so one. It definitely informs why you like romance films. Yes. That's one. And then two, I think it also <laughs> informs why sometimes Alina and I will be hanging out and she'll put on a song and then she'll talk to me about something kind of important and I'll go to turn down the music. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> this used to be a moment. And I'm like, but I can't. She's like, no. I need this. I need a background track, okay? I want life to feel like a movie. You say that. I do. I yeah. do. So now. Yes. Yes. And also, I haven't gotten to to um, some of the other movies. Some of them are like some really gut-wrenching twists and turns. Yeah. I think that's where some of my intrusive thoughts come from because it's like. <laughs> do Bollywood films do that? Like, I love you. I'm going to kill myself. Like, it's like, oh my God, I loved you my whole life. And now like, the, like they show the whole storyline and at the end it's like, well, bitch, she died. Uh, Here's the daughter that you have left. 
<laughs> That's hard ass. I yeah. like that. Yeah. So, or like, it's kind of like notebooky. Like there's a storyline and then all of a sudden you find out like they just weren't together mm. and it's just gut wrenching. And so it's like, well, it's to like me, the... I thought like, oh, that's just real life. Like you're going to have some horrible twist of fate. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's like the film we watched in the mood for love. Yeah. Or what was it? Was it? Can you yeah. look, look? I don't want to butcher the name. It was in, in the mood for love. Yeah. In a co- co-production. Uh, man and a woman whose spouses have an affair together and who. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in the mood for love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we have to finish DDLJ. We got like an hour and change in. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend. It's it's also just shot really well for its time period. Yeah. Some Minus of, the dubbing, which... Um, I would say some of those zooms are pretty shaky. But that's just, just me. Just let me live in my reality, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just me being a nerd. The though. dad has a strong connection to pigeons. He loves <laughs> pigeons. It yeah, explains does. so much oh about God. why I am the way I am today. Okay. Next That's on why the list got the pigeon brain? is is Kuchka Tortehe. I love that movie. You see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I was looking at the actor. I was like, the actor from DDLJ looks like that guy. They're is both he like the, the king of like Bollywood? Yeah, I have a bone to pick with that. Who crowned Shah Rukh Khan as like? the heartthrob careful dude careful yeah careful <laughs> uh, it's a valid question like there's many other female no, no, you can a- question there's many other female actors in there in the mix but every movie he was and you know what i read ddlj that is was, what they call him king of bollywood by the way <laughs> yeah ddlj was supposed to be for tom cruise and shara khan rejected it four times and it ended up being like his best movie that's insane yeah that's why that that's crazy that he was so look up ddlj like where in his career did ddlj go to production i'm curious had he done five or six films at that point and he was on fire and they present him with the script and he goes i don't need to do this shit bro it's but it'd be crazy if that was the case and then he does it and ends up being his biggest film talk about the rich get richer the dude's on fire and he's like there's no possible way i could do even and then bang yeah, bang yeah and it must have done real numbers cuz it's hitting I in paid, your childhood i paid a movie ticket to go see it imagine going to a movie theater to see a 3 hour and 50 minute movie yeah he had been in plenty of movies before that like he had been in 5 in that year alone already like he's he's cooking films up a lot yeah. of like highly rated ones on imdb also <laughs> It's crazy. Man. There's the other guy with the extra thumb, you know, like he was he was second place. Yeah. You know about him? Uh the guy with the extra thumb now. He he was like in movies with him. What's his name? Arguably more attractive than Shah Rukh Khan. And I mean you could just look him up. I don't know his name. I just know he has a thumb. And all I tried to do in the movie theater when I was a kid was look for the thumb. <laughs> that was it. And I think he never got it removed because it's like, good luck. Got it. It's like, it would have been a thing. This is fascinating. It is fascinating. Yeah. And you know, I watched the movie in the theater, no subtitles, not being a f- super fluent yeah. speaker. Yeah. So I knew majority of what was happening, but watching it as an adult, I'm like, oh, I actually like understand some of the life lessons a little bit more now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I have subtitles. Yeah. This Any is, luck? Yeah, Hrithik Roshan. Yeah, that's an incorrect way to say it. Uh, it's not Dune level, Alex. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> There's just thumb, thumbs. Yeah. What? Yeah. Let me see his name. I'll try to. Uh, hmm. Right there. Yeah. Right there. I don't want to say it wrong either, oh, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I say it, but you don't even have the cojones to yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah. Well, there just I'm, needs I'm just to be nervous. like, well, we got to wait for Dune uh, 3 to come out then he'll so know. Alex can become Hindu. Yeah. Or, well, yeah, show, show him the one where he's younger. Like, he's definitely a little bit more, I feel like more. Yeah, like he's got more. Um, uh, he's less goofy, I think, than Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. Hitrik he lo- Roshan. He looks kind of clowny to me, though. Like you yeah. know, you know, he is. He's like a Hugh Jackman-ish. Like he's shredded. Yes. And yeah, that one photo below, it's very Hugh Jackman. Yeah. 
This one reminds me of like a, like a Toontown character, though. <laughs> yeah, that one he's looking a bit. Yeah, like, like Lazy Town. You ever seen the Lazy Town yeah. guys? L- he's looking a bit dystopian there. I definitely yeah. never saw his thumb in the in that form. That's crazy that he just presents it. Yeah. Um. But maybe it's the fact that um. Uh. Oh boy, from DDLJ. Maybe it's the fact that he is regular. Yeah. seeming and kind of goofy is he a nepo baby i need to know it's a good question yeah when I, well i'm curious now when bollywood started when did bollywood start i would say you want to guess 1920 yeah i would think early 1900s yeah but has hollywood even been around that long? yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. Bollywood, often known as the Bombay film business, is a film industry based in Mumbai, India. It was created in 1932 oh, by Dada Saheb Falke. Falk. I don't know what I'm yeah. So Producing 19. over a thousand films a year. Yeah. yeah, their output was insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Um, well, India's just got a lot of people. I know. So they can pump films out. Here, everyone is like, they can only watch four or five yeah. a year. I, I was thinking when I was watching it, like the amount of choreographed dances I had done to the songs in the movies for like people's weddings and birthday parties and yeah. stuff. Like no one wanted to see my 10 year old <laughs> self reenact those those dances from the movies. But I was like, no, everyone, please take your seats. The show that is it, about to begin. That is such a thing. Like even my cousins and stuff for yeah. our family, they would, I don't know why that's such a thing. It's like, yeah, little girls choreographing dances. Yeah, and then we'd pull my boy family. cousins into it. Like, and they're you like, gotta be the guys. They're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I won't be partaking in that <laughs> with other children. I, I can't sit there and clap like you're doing a good job. You're not. And I wish someone was just real with me. You're just gonna be there as Simon Cowell, all of the kids. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> it's awful. You've got two left feet. You're you're terrible at this. Do math. Yeah, there's a reason it's in the movies. Don't doesn't need to be here in my living room. Make up your own dance. That's more impressive. Right. Your own vibes yeah. from the song. Yeah, you're. But 10. trying to rip off what they do, like they had choreographed instructors helping them get there. I had it on replay. That's all I had. Yeah. So it's gonna be bad, is what you're saying. It's, it was terrible. Yeah. Especially the way I dance now. Yeah. There was no way it was good then. Yeah. No way. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Speaking of being told. But, may, but maybe it was endearing to the family. Because, you know, when you see kids being goofy. But I know what you mean when it's like, if you've seen, if you've had the real deal. Yeah. If you've seen the real thing. Yeah. It's, I imagine it's the same thing as when a kid cooks for you. It's like, I've had, I've had scrambled eggs. Yeah. I'm 45. Yeah. <laughs> I've had yeah. a lot of scrambled eggs and these are shit. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of not being told things or being told things straight. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Already. Time goes on. Straight to it. I know. Well, I was going to talk about being hit on. Yeah, we could talk about that in the bonus. Yeah, we sure. will. You can catch us at the bonus at patreon.com slash awsfpod. We'll do an extra 30, maybe 45 minutes there. And I'm going to be showing Noelle one of my favorite trends on TikTok. It's just videos of construction workers hitting on her. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's really sweet. Yeah. It's so sweet. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye.